Get out of it, sir. Yes, sir. 155 brand new lodgy cars. Are they good runners? Harry! Hang on. Look at this. She's reading a book. That is not normal for a five-year-old. I think she might be an idiot. She is an idiot. Listen to this. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. <coughs> Stop scaring your mom with that book, boy. I'm a girl. And she keeps trying to tell me stories. Harry, stories. Who wants stories? I mean, it's just not normal for a girl to be all thinking. I'm going to call you straight back. Will you please shut up? I'm trying to pull off the bis biggest business deal of my life and I have to listen to this. It's your fault. You spend us into trouble. You spend us into trouble. And you expect me to get us out? What am I? A flaming escapologist? Escapologist, he says? What about me, then? I've got your whole house to look after. Didn't so my boys himself, you know. If you're an escapologist, I must be an acrobat to balance that lot. The world's greatest acrobat. I am off to bleach my roots, and I shan't be taking to you for the rest of the evening, you horrid little man. I'm gonna be, oh, I'm gonna be rich. Rich? How rich? Oh, very rich. Russian businessmen are very, very stupid. This husband is gonna sell 155 new Nakadol banners and you look for cars. That's not fair, the cars will break down. What about the Russians? Fair, listen to the boy. I'm a girl. Fair does not get you anywhere. You thick headed trip me. Yes. All I can say is, thank heavens, your. All I can say is, thank heavens, Michael is heritage of those man's brains. Hey, son? Yeah? Hmm, well, I shall take your money when you earn it and I shall spend it, but I shan't enjoy it because of my despicable way in which you have spoken to me tonight. This is your fault, which is stupid reading. Which is stupid books and stupid reading. What? But I didn't do anything. That's not right. I'll tell you something. You're gonna, you're off to school in a few days time. And you're gonna be getting up. I'll see. I know your head mistress, Miss. <laughs> Miss Trunchbull's going to crush you. I told you all about, I told her all about your smarty pants ideas. Great big, strong, strong scary woman she is. She used to compete in um, Olympics race throwing hammers. I don't know what she's going to do to a horrible squeaky goblin like you, boy. I'm a girl. Get, get up to bed you, get up to bed you little bookworm. Down, calm down, calm yes. down, children. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, Miss Honey. Honey. My name is Miss Honey. Today is a very special day, your first day of school. Now, do any of you know any of your two times tables? Very well. Matilda, isn't it? Please stand as much as you can. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 30, 30 good heavens. 13 times 2 is six, 26, 14 times 2 is 28. Stop, stop, good heavens, how far can you go? I don't know, quite a long way, I think. Uh, do you think you could tell me what 2 times 28 is? 56. Yes, yes, very good. Imagine if Let's magic. leave... Let's leave maths for the time being and move on to reading now. Can any of you read a word on the board? Oh, it's me, me, me. Very well, Lucy. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yes, Matilda. I can read the word on the board. Is it tomato? Yes, Matilda. So you can read words? Yes, because I needed to learn to read words so that I could read sentences. Because basically a sentence is just a big bunch of words. And if you can't read sentences, you've got no chance with books. Uh, um, have, you ever, have you ever read a book by yourself before? Yes, quite a few last week. Uh, a few in, in a week. Um, what 
what books did you read? Midnight Gang, Dean and Dentist, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and of course, not to forget, The Thousand Words in a Dictionary. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Well, off you go, children. Enter. Don't just stand there like a wet tissue. Get on with it. Yes, yes, Miss Tranquil. Um, a little girl in my class called Matilda Wormwood and... Da daughter of ha Harry Wormwood, uh, owner of Wormwood Motors, excellent man, told me to watch out for the uh, brat, told me he's a, she's a right wart. No, no, headmistress. I don't believe Matilda that kind of child at all. What is the school motto, Miss Honey? Bominate S. Magnetum. Bominate S. Magnetum. Children of maggots! In fact, it must have been her who put that stink bomb under my desk this morning. I'll get her for that. Thank you for suggesting it, though. But I didn't. Principal Matilda Wormwood is a genius. Haven't I told you that she's a gangster? She knows her son's table. So she's learned a few tricks. Oh, but she can read. So can I. In my, in my opinion, headmistress, this little girl should be placed in the top, the top year with the 11 year olds. What? She's a squib. You can simply not place her in the top form with the 11 year olds. What society would that be, Miss Honey? What about rules? Rules! I believe Matilda Wormwood is an exception to the rules. Exception to the rules in my school? Now get out! So, um, help! Help! Someone help! Someone poured syrup all over Mrs. Tranquil's chair and someone blamed it on me when I did no such thing. Her knicker, when she got up, her knickers got stuck to the chair. What? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. You're done, kid. You're finished. Once well, Agatha Trunchbull finds out you're guilty, you're squished. Oh no, they say they're going to put me in choking. What? What's the choking? They say that it's a long, narrow hole with spi spikes on the walls and nails at the bottom with, gla with a little bit of glass in. And it isn't wide enough to set. It isn't wide enough to fit. Even if you could, there's nails at the bottom. When you scream, you don't know if the sound came out. All right, when did this happen? About 20 minutes ago, but why? <coughs> oh no, she's coming! You better hide, quick, jacket! Where's Nigel? Where's that maggot known as Nigel? Uh, he's under those coats where he's been for the last hour, actually. An hour? Oh, yes, you see, unfortunately, Nigel suffers from the rare but chronic sleep disorder, narcolepsy. Condition is characterised by the sufferer experiencing bouts of chronic fatigue. You see, he fell asleep suddenly without any warning at all. So we put him under those coats for safety, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. You probably think he's awake. You probably think he's at home when he wakes up. A cup. Mum, is it time for school yet? Hello, Mr. Trenchbull. Amanda! Yes, oh. What have I told you about wearing pigtails? I hate pigtails! But my mummy says they make me look pretty. Well, your mummy's a twit! Ow! 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 Once upon a time there was a little girl called... You! Come with me right now! But I haven't done anything wrong. Right! Sit! Shot and lost your appetite. Oh, yes, I'm full. Oh, no, you're not full. I'll tell you when you're full. And I think crim criminals like you are full till they've eaten the whole cake. But, no time for buts. Eat! I eat it all. Have missed she'll be sick. Well, you should have thought of that before you made an impact in the devil and ate my cake. Surely can't. No, you can't, can't do it. You can't. Eat! Mm -hmm. It explodes. It might explode. Silence! Bruce!
time for the chokey. Today class we are going to be doing Right, you spell newt N-E-W-T You spell termite T-E-R-M-I-T-E -E. You spell children C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N Miss Honey taught us a lot, she's very good at teaching Nonsense, S spell the one thing that you all are Revolting Revolting? R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G you're cheating. R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G. Revolting. R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G. Revolting. R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G. Revolting.